for this video, I'm taking a break from Unity while the dust is settling over there. So let's take a look at something easy, like how to generate UUIDs. Maybe you're building out a database and you need unique IDs for the data, or maybe a URL shortener, or whatever your use case is, you just need to generate unique IDs that won't have collisions. There are numerous ways to do this, but I'm going to demonstrate it with two specific libraries that I found using AWS Lambda. I'm using Lambda because it's an easy way to throw together a cheap backend server for your game, web client, or whatever your project is, and have some functionality up and running in no time. So the two different libraries that I was going to look at today were Nano ID and the crypto library from Node. So first, let's just take a look at Nano ID. Um, it's actually really neat. It's really small. It's a really small library and they have a nice little landing page here where you can see like how long it would take for a collision to detect uh, or for a collision to happen and what the probability of that would be. So if you have 20 characters uh, and here's your alphabet that you generate uh, a unique ID from and, and let's say it's at 20 characters, it would take 19 billion years uh, or I'm not even a, a very large trillion, 163,457 trillion IDs needed in order to have a 1% probability of a collision. Um, and it's really small, it's easy to use. So uh, let's just check out how to use this first. And, and in order to use a Lambda function with a an external uh, package like this, like a crypto package or really any package, uh, you're gonna have to build it locally and you will upload the whole package as a, as a complete uh, project. So first, let's just have a look at where we're at. So I have a blank project here. As you can see, there's nothing in it. Uh, let's go ahead and just create a sample index file. Okay, and I'll copy over the default code that Lambda gives us. And again, this is using the ESM or ECMA script modules. It's one of the contemporary ways of managing your uh, packages and scripts. And the file extension is .mjs for these. So the first thing we'll need to do is import it into our project. So if you look over at the instructions, pretty straightforward. We'll just do an npm install. So if you're looking for a common JS compatible package, the nano 3.x will be the one you, you can use for that. So that would look like this, but we're using the more contemporary version. So let's install that. So just run npm install. And now you can see it added a package uh, .json and a lock file and as well as the node modules. And the node modules just basically tells us this is the packages that we're using for this project. And for the crypto version, this is actually included with the standard Lambda uh, compatibility. So we won't have to add it the way that we just added the Nano ID project. So let's go ahead and package this up and we'll upload it to our Lambda function. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Of course, with Lambda, you can just edit your text right in line, or if you have some dependencies that you need, like in this case, We'll go ahead and archive them up. And then we can just upload from the zip file that way. Oh, and let's just look at that really quick. You can also upload from an S3. You can also do this with the command line interface if you wanna just make it really quickly. So if you get into the habit of using this kind of development pattern, you can have a terminal open and just constantly just you know upload it from, from the terminal and then you'll be able to have that result almost instantly. So if you don't wanna go through the zip file, get used to using the AWS CLI. So we have a zip file, so let's go ahead and upload that. Okay, and as you can see, everything that we just packaged up is now showing. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do an import of the nano ID. And you can basically copy paste. Okay, deploy those changes really quick. 
And let's just do a test. And we're going to create a new test, test one. And it should just execute the function. And there it is. Look at that. So this note nano is very nice for generating a random set of characters, numbers, strings, however you want to format it. And I believe there is a capability where you can tailor the exact alphabet. Like if you don't want to use this entire alphabet, maybe you only want to use lower cases or maybe you only want to use numbers. Uh, you can absolutely do that with this. So as you can see right here, you can see the custom alphabet where they just listed the alphanumeric uh, characters that they wanted to use for the project. So you can go ahead and add that if you were interested. I'm using the full alphabet, which is why you see underscores and dashes. Let's just run it one more time. Yeah, so that'll be a really nice. So if you're looking to add a unique ID, that's that's one way to do it. And another way to do it is to use the crypto library. So let's just comment that part out for now. Save that, deploy it. Let's run that test again. does not provide random UI. What did I do wrong here? Oh, spelled it wrong. Perfect. So this will look like a more traditional UUID. Of course, you can see the set of characters here separated by dashes, and that is also a very common use of the UUID tool. So if you're looking to save unique IDs for your database or whatever you're working on. This is a very handy way to do it. And again, there's another one. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just saw that there was a Stack Overflow post that was asking about the more contemporary versions of the of how to generate UUID. So here's two very quick and easy ways to do it. So if you're interested in generating unique IDs, check out Nano ID or Random UUID. And again, Lambda is a great tool to do quick serverless backends if you need to spin a project up really quick and you need a very fast and easy to use backend definitely check out lambda by aws all right well that's going to be it for this video if you like this content please let me know with a like and subscribe and also let me know in the comments if you want to see more content like this anyways until next time thanks for watching